Welcome to the Uncommon Transformation Television Series. He turned 49 on Friday 9th, December 2011. Though the celebration was considered low-keyed, he still attracted his friends and associates, including former head of state, General Yakubu Gawan, who came to felicitate the man credited with the wind of uncommon transformation blowing across the length and breadth of Akwaibom State, Nigeria's celebrated land of promise. Governor Goswi Lapabio never failed to acknowledge the benevolence of God in fashioning out his future. Hence, he submits to his Creator in prayer and thanksgiving at all times. The day marking his 49th birthday was no exception, as he kicked off the day with a thanksgiving mass at St. John's Chapel, Government House, Uyo. Six priests officiated. Governor Apabio took the first Bible lesson from the book of Prophet Isaiah, chapter 48, verse 17 through 19. Thus says the Lord, your the Holy One of Israel. I am the Lord your God, who teaches you the prophets, who leads you. By the way you should go, your descendants also will have been like the sun, and the offspring of your body like the grain of sun. His name will not have been covered, nor destroyed from before me. This is the word of the Lord. In his homily, the very Reverend Father John Ebebe acknowledged the developmental effort of Governor Gaswi Lakpabio, which he admits has impacted positively the lives of Akwaibum people. The clergy admonished the governor not to be daunted by the spate of criticisms, but continue with his good works for the overall good of the people. Today is a great day for our governor. And the great day for the people of our country to take a lot of us to reconsider our stand and our own duty to try to pull into our own environment. We take the possibility of what has been given to us at whatever levels, as government, as deputy government, as commissioners, and other levels of commitment to our side. We must always move on to respond to what God has given to us driving towards being good and doing good. Despite whatever threat we may have, criticisms and other side thoughts that are only meant to distract or we focus on what is good. Certainly, if we go back to what people have said that I have criticized God and we laugh at what we have been, we are not responding to God. Because the God that has given us time has given us the opportunity and has also given us the grace and the capacity the, the celebrant, Chief Goswil Obot Akpabio, who went down memory lane, thanked all those who have stood by him and promised to leave an imprint at the end of his tenure. Today, you know, so much about the past. Today is about the future. Today, it's about the future. Today, it's about the future. I believe strongly that with your prayers, God will continue to give you the strength and give you the wisdom. I will do my best according to the moment, despite the distractions of others. I'm always guided by the best. Because I recall when God gave the job to Moses to be his people. Of course, it's time for the miracles of God. Some of his people still went astray. Some went down and worshipped her and did all sorts of things. I think he got angry as a human being. One of the things is it, I'm not so good that my, my older father, my reverend father, may tell me. I think he threw the tablets of law that he brought from God as that is out of anger. 
The celebration shifted to the Government House Banquet Hall, where friends and well-wishers gathered. of extremism because if you are a Christian you can't be an extremist because even the Bible teaches us that you must tolerate one another who is your neighbor your neighbor could be a Muslim who also believes in the same one God if you are a Muslim who is your neighbor your neighbor could be a Christian who also believes in the same one God you are born into the world you carry extremism you take lives in your hands and, the, and both religious teachers that we should not kill. One of the policies I'm bringing up in Aquaibo to enable us to have a turnaround, even to use us as a model state, from 2012 January, is that I'm bringing back chaplains into all the schools in the state. So I'm going to post religious men back to schools to begin to inculcate once again religious ethos, ethics, and try to bring morality back into our little children. Operation Catch Them Young. Because so far in Nigeria, we have drifted away from God. So I just felt today I have two main functions. One was to go to the chapel with my friends, chairman of councils and close confidence commissioners, house members, and the, uh, ch uh, the chief judge representing the judiciary and the party to tell God thank you for my little baby at 49, and to pledge that I will continue to discharge my best so long as it pleases him to keep me alive. Former Head of State, General Gowan, acknowledged the good leadership style of the Governor and wished him well in future endeavors. Uh, His Excellency, our Governor, Fabio, you know, all the very best, many, many, to wish him many, many happy returns and to wish him many more good years, not only 49. Shall we wish him another 49 plus? Yeah. Yeah. So that is what we'll do. And uh, to hear uh, the, all the, his thoughts about uh, bringing God back to our schools, to our, um, uh, you know, everywhere. Now, I can assure you, even when the schools were, you know, were taken over by the government, mission schools were taken over by the government uh, during my time, I can assure you, one of the instructions is that we must keep from the teaching of uh, religion, you know, on right the way through. If the government uh, you know, that succeeded us did not follow that, then that is their fault. That, I mean, that is why you know, we lost God in our doing. Because with God guiding you to do the right thing, you will always do the right thing uh, for the, uh, the you know, for the people. And this is what we've had. His Excellency is doing. The people also wished the governor a happy birthday. God prepared him for this job as governor of a Kwaibom state. And for every people, God gives a, a person at a time. When you look at what he has done and how he has performed in governance with the tender age he has zoomed off his, one would not fail to agree that it's been uncommon transformation, uncommon and a unique icon. I'm so impressed about his conduct, both in administration and his own personal life and social uh, outing. So I wish him many more returns, many fruitful years. Let him continue to do what he has been doing because uh, this is a living legend, you know, and we have to recognize. I wish him many, 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 many happy returns of the day. And I wish him more years of service to the state and the country.
His Excellency's 49 years of sojourn on earth has been years of hard work, years of humility, years of love for the people, and years of love for the work of God and for the things of God. He's been an embodiment of humility, an embodiment of kindness, an embodiment of hard work. The glory of God is with him. It's a gift to acquire him. And uh, God will bless him. I want to thank God for him that at such an age, he has done so much. He has fulfilled so much. It's like he has lived for so long. But in 49 years, that somebody can be able to achieve all that he has done is a challenge to every one of us to live up to our expectations. For us, we are happy for God has kept him these 49 years. And our prayer is that may God continue to give him long life and uh, sustain him, give him the wisdom that goes with the age to be able to administer Akwaibum the way he, he has done in the past four and a half years. That at 49, that he's been able to turn the landscape of Akwaibum State to what it is today. I want to say uh, the accolades uh, and uh, changing the position of Akwaibum State in the map or really, really identifying that Akwaibum is in the map of Nigeria and being a nucleus point for development of uh, Nigeria, you know, in the vision 2020. I want to thank God for the life of His Excellency, our dear Governor. I want to say congratulations to my dear boss, a performer, a transformer, a man who has given us a place in the community of nation, a man who has turned our state to a model state, a man who has truly made our state a destination. God has used him to do so much for the people of Akwaibum State. Today, an Akwaibum person can stand up before anybody and speak proudly. I've taken him as my son because he deserves being a son. This is a man that cares for the poor, cares for the riches, and cares for everybody. What he has done in Akwaibum State, it is a thing that nobody can, can decide. As is customary, Governor Akpabio, together with members of his family, visited the less privileged children at the state-owned Divine Children's Center, New York, in continuation of the celebration. This is symbolic demonstration of care and concern for these children who had been abandoned by their parents in their prime. The government of Chief Gaswi Lapabio from inception did condemn this and brought the children, over 600 of them, under one roof. Today, they are in various schools across the state. <laughs> Those who want to stay with the governor, raise your hand. So you are happy here? Yes. You clap for yourself. Where you are now is a temporary place. We just had to make do for you to move immediately. We are going to complete by 2012. I hope within the first six months. A brand new accommodation with a good feel for you. We will give you a place you can play football. We will give you a place you can play basketball and all that things. So by the spelling of the name of Jesus Christ, you will just cut the skip. So we go J E S U and S. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Governor Akpabiu's 49th birthday celebration was not just a celebration of his life, but a celebration of his uncommon transformation of the state. For instance, the day coincided with the airlift of over 300 pilgrims from the Ibum International Airport to Israel. 
The feat would not have been possible, but not for the doggedness of the state chief executive in completing the airport within a very short time. A similar exercise had earlier been performed last year, where pilgrims were airlifted directly from here to the Holy Land. President of the Christian Association of Nigeria, Khan, Pastor Ayo Orise Jafo, addressed the intending pilgrims. Honestly, coming to you tonight, I was not sure of what was on ground. In fact, earlier this evening, I was talking to the Executive Secretary, Mr. Kennedy, and I was saying, uh, why don't we find out if we can land at night, still take off tonight, because there were other things we were planning. So he said, Your Excellency, I don't know if you want me to say this, he didn't really know himself too. So he said, well, I'm not sure we can take off. I said, well, why don't you find out? So to my surprise, I noticed that we were actually leaving Abuja uh, as late as we were leaving. Then when we landed here, I was in my mind, I said, I think we must have missed the airport. <laughs> and, no, seriously, listen, listen to me. I'm a pastor, and uh, if I say something, I'm telling you from behind. I actually thought we missed the airport. I said, this cannot be you. We must have landed somewhere else. So, I looked. Uh, I, I thought it will be a bit shameful if I start asking uh, the honorable minister, where are we? You know, I mean, I'm a Nigerian. It would be strange. But then we stepped out of it. And it was Uyo that we have actually landed in Uyo, and the lighting system, everything on ground. I tell you, this is incredible. Your Excellency, please continue in what you are doing. Anyone who desires to touch the people, God will never forget you. Believe me, greatness is not in what a man has. Greatness is in what you do with what you have. And you are doing a lot with what God has entrusted into your hands. May God bless you. When I came here a year ago to inspect the facilities we have, as I was leaving this place, I was a bit disappointed because I said to myself, I don't see His Excellency being able to meet up the standard required by IATA and then the Israeli Civil Aviation Authority for their aircraft to land here. And I went to him and he said to me, DG, come in here in two weeks' time. You will change your attitude. As I'm talking to you, there was, as at that time, there was no scanning facility. This building was still under construction. No medical center. I, I shook my head and I said, this one will be a political talk. <laughs> In two weeks' time, when I found the chairman, in fact, it was him that called me, uh, His Excellency Nka, uh, he said to me, DG, can you come back one more time? I called the commissioner south side. I said, look, follow me, let's go back to Akwaibo. And when we came in here, it was a different story. <laughs> I am not kidding you, I have been in this for quite some time, and I tell you, even this soil we are using, I don't have any airport where my pilgrims are flying from with this facility. <laughs> I remember the challenges we had with the Portacot Airport in terms of the fire services equipment. He said to me, I've already ordered them. They are on their way. And when I came that day, I saw more than four of them. The place we have in the country today. <laughs> that will continually partner with you in this project. Governor Pabio further urged the pilgrims to see the spiritual exercise as an opportunity to turn a new leaf and be of good behavior while it lasted. 
We are not having those natural disasters because we are praying. That's why I said we need this big image. We need this free innovation. You have to go out there and take the business seriously that through you, God is going to touch your families. Amen. That through your prayers, God is going to elevate your state. Amen. That through your actions, God is going to elevate Nigeria. Amen. What a better time for pilgrimage than now. So I increased the number from 300 to 600. From 600, I took it to 1,000. And this time we are now at 1,500. And we are still climbing. A time will come when we will come here to this airport in at least 5,000 acquired of people going out to the Holy Land. Members of the federal government delegation, my assurance to you is that you don't even need to be, a, you don't, you don't be a, a preaching to the converted. It's like singing to the choir. These are the people who are going to tell other pilgrims that Nigeria is good because acquired is okay. The pilot of the aircraft used to airlift the pilgrims expressed pleasure at the excellent facilities at the airport. And I would like to say that the airport is meeting the European standards. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. During the week, the state also hosted the general overseer of Deeper Life Bible Church, W.F. Kumi who was in the States for the church's crusade. His first port of call was the Aquibum State Governor's Lodge, where he paid a courtesy visit on the state chief executive, Chief Gaswi Lakpabio. I wanted to see for myself that you're talking about God's will, God's will. I said I will see that God's will myself. <laughs> You know, those of us who have a biblical background, because, uh, you know, we look at the Bible, we, some of the things that people take for granted, we don't. Names are very significant in the Bible. When God wanted to do something with Abraham, he said, your name is no more Abraham, it's Abraham. He wanted to do something with uh, Jacob, he said, you are no more Jacob. He gave them the name that will suit the assignment he was going to give them. And when we say that His Excellency is uh, God's will, those who gave the name would never have thought that anything would come out of that. But I say that that happens. That this is God's choice for the hour for this state. Whatever God wills uh, beyond even the state, we are alive to see. But once again, I want to say, the little I've seen, I know there's much I've not seen, the little I've seen makes me to know that this state is going to be a model for other states. What we're asking for is that there should be unity and understanding. If we cooperate with the man God has put there at this time, I believe that the joy will be for all our people. And it's uh, the brief uh, discussion we've had together. It's not just for a own section of the state. It's for everybody together. I'm very delighted to witness the second year running of uh, pilgrims, you know, being uh, lifted from uh, Kwaibom International Airport. And then considering that in 2007, I met an empty field. And then a few years later, through the grace of God, uh, we, we have been able to uh, produce the first phase of the airport and then today uh, we are lifting over 300 pilgrims to the Holy Land and this time around I think three countries, they are going to Greece, they are going to Rome and they, uh, they are also going to Israel. Israel and so to imagine that in those three countries you will see uh, the name of Uyo on their dashboard saying passengers from Uyo International Airport Please uh, go to uh, so -so, uh, location to go and pick your luggage. It's, uh, it's very interesting and it's something very exciting. I give glory to God that yes, indeed, things are getting better. The good people of Akwaibum State, friends and associates, both at home and in the diaspora, wish the people's governor a happy birthday and many more happy returns.